Hi there, Representative Jeff Morris from the 40th Legislative District Position 2. We're at the halfway point during the session and we're just at the height of our work down here in Olympia. You know, we meet for 60 days during the even number years. Those days were set back in 1979. It was when we first started looking at doing a supplemental 60-day session to come in and tune up the budget. But since that time, we've gone from being like the 25th largest state to the 13th largest state. Even today, we just passed Massachusetts in the last census to become that 13th largest state. Many other legislatures, uh, slightly bigger than us, except for Texas, have a full-time legislature. So we're just getting an incredible amount of work done in 60 days. I'm happy to report that we've had many successes. The bill I proposed last year has actually passed out of the House and is in the Senate to build a new third ferry, which is critical to ferry service to the San Juan Islands. I made progress on privacy legislation around drone technologies and so forth, which is moving to the legislature. I've got a key economic development bills, actually two bills that deal with building out the 4G infrastructure for the wireless service more quickly in Washington state and also extending our natural gas uh, service to both rural and urban underserved areas, uh, trying to spur another $250 million of investment so that people that don't have access to natural gas can because it's a, uh, the, one of the new cheap available resources to heat your homes and to do other things uh, that require energy. On top of that, we recently held the telephone town hall meeting. I really appreciated the feedback I got on the McCleary decision to better fund K-12 education and also looking at other important issues around the district like increased funding for mental health care. As you know, our social services got cut by 40% during the Great Recession and we're trying to buy some of those services back uh, and as we get more revenue in for things that are critical for a social safety net for our most disadvantaged people. Um, all these things are critical. It really helps me when you contact me and tell me your opinion on things you hear in the news or might hear on the radio or see on the internet. If you'd like to contact me or get my weekly newsletter, please use the phone number or the email. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and concerns so I can do my job better representing you. Thank you.